So how can we create this film burn transition? Although it's not really film, but it is burn because it's burning. So for this transition, all we need is a match and a dark room. And it's probably even better if your background wall is black. What I did was I grabbed a phone. I used this old phone because I wasn't sure if these if getting the fire really close to the camera could hurt the lenses or the sensor, I mean. So all you have to do is get as close as you can to the camera while it's recording and then light up the match. And then play around with the flame. And that's all you, that you need for the first part. The good thing about this is that if your room is quiet enough, it will catch the sound of the match also. And then you don't have to find extra sound effects for the actual like transition when it's happening, right? Okay, so let's jump into DaVinci and I'm going to show you the next step. After you have your transition, all you have to do is put it between two clips. So I'm going to drag these and I've already selected the part where the fire is happening right here. Like that. And it's pretty slow. And another important thing is that it doesn't have to be extremely high resolution because this is going to be just an overlay for like a little bit. So it doesn't matter that much if it has a little bit of noise. It might even make it better to sell the effect better, right? Okay, so if we listen to these, this is what it sounds like. And that is what it looks like. And the whole video is like a minute long because I played around, played around a little bit. So you can make a bunch of burn transitions at the same time, right? Then what you want to do is adjust the timing of it. So press Ctrl R. That's what I'm doing at least. I'm going to get rid of that first part and then I'm going to just increase the speed of this part right here. So that is really quick like that. So what you want to do now is go to composite mode versus normal and then find the screen. And then we can play around and you already have that film burn. Now, there's a few extra things that you can do to make this even better. First, we're going to select these. I'm going to duplicate these by holding Alt and dragging it up. And I'm going to rotate these by 180 degrees. And then also you can play around with the scale, making it like that. Adjusting the position a little bit. And do the same for the other one if you want to. Okay, now let's take a look at these. And it looks pretty cool already. But if it is too bright, what you can do is go to the color page here. And we're going to decrease the gain by a bunch. As always, you can play around with this value. I'm going to leave it like at 58. And I'm going to copy these and paste it onto the other one. And I'm going to go to edit again. And then we have that there. And the effect is a little bit more subtle. And it doesn't flash onto the screen, right? So yeah, that is how you can create your own film burn transitions. Try this method, see if you like it and if it works for you. And if you want to download this one, I'm going to put it on the Swabby website. You can find it there as a freebie. And that is it for today's video. Come back tomorrow for more.